Christmas is a hugely popular holiday, celebrated by over 2 billion people worldwide. It's become such an ingrained part of modern culture that even people in nations with little or no Christian history or tradition are celebrating it in increasing numbers. But what is this holiday really about? Number 1. The Christmas Purge Roman pagans first introduced the holiday of Saturnalia, a week-long period of lawlessness celebrated between December 17th to the 25th. During this period, Roman courts were closed and Roman law dictated that no one could be punished for damaging property or injuring people during the week-long celebration. The festival began when Roman authorities chose an enemy of the Roman people to represent the Lord of Misrule. Each Roman community selected a victim whom they forced to indulge in food and other physical pleasures throughout the week. At the festival's conclusion, December 25th, Roman authorities believed that they were destroying the forces of darkness by brutally murdering innocent men and women. The ancient Greek writer, poet and historian Lucian, in his dialogue entitled Saturnalia, describes the festival's observance in his time. In addition to human sacrifice, he mentions these customs, widespread intoxication, going from house to house while singing naked, rape and other sexual acts were also common. People also consumed human-shaped biscuits, still produced in some English and most German bakeries during the Christmas season. Number 2. The Pagan Roots in the 4th century common era, Christianity imported the Saturnalia festival hoping to take the pagan masses in with it. Christian leaders succeeded in converting large numbers of pagans to Christianity by promising them that they could continue to celebrate the Saturnalia as Christians. The problem was that there was nothing Christian about Saturnalia. So to remedy this, the Christian leaders named Saturnalia's concluding day December 25th to be the birth of Jesus, peace be upon him. But we know today from both Christianity and Islamic texts that Jesus was not born at this time. This was just used as a trick to make Christians feel okay with celebrating this pagan holiday. Take some time and think about the customs associated with Christmas. What do decorated evergreen trees, holly, mistletoe, and Santa Claus have to do with the birth of Jesus, peace be upon him? The fact is, none of these things have anything to do with him, and people just celebrate Christmas today with ignorance without looking into the dark history behind it. Number 3. Roots of Santa Claus Chimosh was a pagan deity, represented as a huge iron statue in the shape of a man seated on a throne with a large belly. Its hands were extended out as though it was ready to receive something. People at the time worshipped this pagan idol as the god of prosperity. People would make a list of all things that they wanted, similar to the list parents asked their children to write for Santa today. During the winter solstice of December the 25th, people would then line up with their children in their lists. The statue of Shimosh would then be heated up as it was made of cast iron. It was said that the statue would get so hot it would turn red. Then those who worshipped this idol would sacrifice their children and babies into the burning hands of the statue, hoping to receive what was on their list in return. Many people believe that the demon which was worshipped behind this pagan idol was Krampus, a horned devil who was associated with taking children and putting them in a bag. The Santa that is popularized today is a mix between many evils from the past and a character called Saint Nick. Number 4. Christmas was banned. All Christmas activities, including dancing, seasonal plays, games, singing carols, cheerful celebration, and especially drinking, were banned by the Puritan dominated Parliament of England in 1644. Christmas trees and decorations were considered to be unholy pagan rituals and the Puritans also banned traditional Christmas foods such as mince pies and pudding. Puritan laws required that stores and businesses remain open all day on Christmas and town criers walk through the streets on Christmas Eve calling out, No Christmas, No Christmas. 
The ban on the holiday was lifted in 1660 when Charles II took over the throne. However, the Puritan presence remained in New England and Christmas did not become a legal holiday there until 1856. Gradually, people started to embrace the customs of this pagan holiday once again. Number 5. Christmas and Christianity Christmas is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible or in any authentic Christian teachings. This is rather obvious, but most people never give it a second thought. The books of the New Testament cover over 30 years of the life of Jesus, peace be upon him, then another 30 plus years of the early church following his ascension, but nowhere do we find any hint of a Christmas celebration or anything remotely like it. Number 6. Christmas and Islam There is no reason why Muslims should participate in any Christmas-related activities even if the pagan ideas behind Christmas today have been watered down to be made acceptable by society today. We know from clear historical facts that the roots of this holiday are satanic and filled with elements of shirk, which is the biggest of all sins. Allah says in the Quran, Help one another in virtue and in righteousness, but do not help one another in sin and transgression. And fear Allah, verily, Allah is severe in punishment. So as Muslims, we should not help or support someone who is doing wrong. Rather, we should correct them and ourselves. You can watch the video in the description for a more in-depth look at what Christmas is about.